Welcome to me, the Uger Gaming, and today we're playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. To All right, so today we're doing to Maker's this. End. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe Wait. button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. All right, so we had a uh, equipment cache that was left for us by uh, an unknown person that also had a focus. That sounds amazingly like Zavala using a voice changer. Picked up a Ravager cannon. And we're going to see what's what. Now, apparently there's a whole lot of enemies. Or so we're told. The cache actually didn't uh, give us a whole lot there. A rope caster, if you didn't already have one. Cultus. Oops. Seriously? Whatever. There we go. Thank you. It's heavy. And down he goes. see what else is going on here. I think this is only... Yeah, so this is this area here. We still have a good ways to go. Interesting. Interesting, I didn't see him before. Okay. Over here, it's her. Wait it out. Got anything better to do? Can't have gotten far. Look huh. around. Look at them all. Great. And just like that, took them all down. There are quite a few corrupted machines that I didn't see. Like, I only saw the one outside of camp, and then all of a sudden, there's a whole bunch of them. There we go. 
we're going to pick this back up, take it with us. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to need it further on. We're going to get these supply crates. These dig sites, they're massive. Oh, and this guy that I took out. That's another one up there, I think. Yeah, supply crate. Run. Run like the wind. So, the Corrupted Watchers had to have gotten pulled in from somewhere. Further down here, maybe. I'm not entirely sure what the radius is. Alert radius, whatever you want to call it. Even if you take off those pieces, it's they're still dangerous. No sun here. Guy okay, across the way. Oh, there's two guys. Huh. It's weird. I didn't see him before. He didn't alarm. There we go. Must have been just a little bit off.
Thing. <laughs> Partially hanging below. Six. I find that hard to believe. Not like that. They were definitely in range. Uh, the guy back there might not have been in range with that one. Certainly was. They're scanning for me. That guy should be in range. Alright. Down he goes. I think the corruptor is the only one left, at least in this section. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I've counted on multiple encounters, so... They obviously want you to at least try... ...to do this... ...quiet... Uh, they found a destroyer and it's that frost bitten. That voice come from.
Nobody. What have they been uncovering here? With them fighting at our side, Meridian will be ours once more. Duh, they found a destroyer. Didn't you hear him? The big question is, do I want to be a corruptor? That might prove a challenge. On the ground, or do I want to be elevated? Both have pluses and minuses. Spike launcher, both terror, and then the body is. Another. Oh, shoot. And now for the fire. Actually, I could do that, couldn't I? That's probably better.
And back. Yeah, he's in trouble. Look at that. Keep cooler. Ooh, there we go. Oh, and then away it goes. That's my chance. I didn't take out that rat. It must have been the corruptor. There we go. That while we were here. So we just have the final final encounter or final final encounter. Another explosion. shock so once again it's probably uh, overheating and then it's got the the cores destroying it disables that cannon wait where is it cooling rods when it overheats the core when the machine overheats cause massive damage Flamethrowers, grenade launchers, on the back maybe, gun turrets, swarm launchers, oh, there we go, so gun turret we can grab, stabilizers,
There we go. Recover. taken out as possible. Disabled his focus. The rest is up to steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak ones.
Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I imagine that's only because it was that particular one. Eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Mods, always welcome. Let's see what you have to say. Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. You are 355,510 days out of day for your meeting with Mr. Farrow. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Calls use polyphasic entangled waveforms, quantum encryption, black quartz stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to black quartz standard. Your words. Look. If you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. 
You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. Can't carry more. Ooh. Oh. Health potion. A death bringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Pharaoh leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Pharaoh Focus, to the... dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We will be exploiting a massive, uh growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? to it not even old death nothing natural
okay then. But I could get through. can use that as a ramp to get back up. Welcome to Ferro Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and... Looks like I can climb here. Forget about traveling light. So people were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. 
So these were farm machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations, or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. Looks like the way up. What's left of it? can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. Freezing out here. the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you I can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace.
way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. to deploy item privileges to recover purge data. Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data, then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another file has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication! Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I do? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained! It can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. The final fire has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign.
Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. 